Yesterday, Joe Biden had an absolutely disastrous press conference. I just keep thinking of this comment by Joe Rogan. Biden, to me, is like having a flashlight with a dying battery and going for a long hike in the woods. <laughs> it is not going to work out. It's not going to make it. That is such a great comparison. Here, watch just one of many clips I could show you from that last night alone. Well, that could school reopenings or closures become a potent midterm issue for Republicans to win back the suburbs? Oh, I think it could be. But I hope to God that they're, uh, that, look, maybe I'm kidding myself. But as time goes on, the voter who is just trying to figure out, as I said, how to take care of their family, put three squares on the table, stay safe, be able to pay their mortgage or their rent, et cetera, uh, has, is becoming much more informed on the, um, the motives of um, some of the political players and some of the and the political parties. And I think that they are not going to be as susceptible to believing some of the outlandish things that have been said and continue to be said. You know, every, every president, not necessarily in the first 12 months, but every president in the first couple of years, most every president, excuse me, of the last presidents, at least four of them, have had polling numbers that are 44%. Favorable. So it's this idea that, but you all, not you all, but now it is, well, Biden's at one poll showed him at 33%. The average is 44, 45%. One poll him at 49%. I mean, the idea that um, the American public are trying to sift their way through what's real and what's, and what's fake. And I don't think as uh, I've never seen a time when the political coverage, the, the choice of what political... What? what was he talking about? Did he forget? What was his point? After, after 15 seconds, I don't think he remembered the question. And then 15 seconds later, I, I don't think he could remember what his answer was supposed to be. I tell you, there were many moments like that. Have you ever met anyone who's slowly losing their cognitive powers? It's, it's often sad and, and they're often very frustrated because they, they can't find a word or a name. They can think of it or, or imagine it or see it in their mind, but they can't connect the idea to the word. And they're still sharp enough to realize all this. They're not fully gone. Biden snapped at reporters yesterday when it was clear he couldn't be articulate. He does that a lot. He sort of panics and starts to shout or attack. He's been doing that for a few years, actually, and I really don't think it's covered a lot. It gets swept under the carpet. Here's an excuse from last night, frustration and anger. You know, you, talk, you campaigned and, and you ran on a return to civility. And I know that you dispute the characterization that you called folks who would oppose those voting bills um, as being Bull Connor or, or George Wallace, but you said that they would be sort of in the, the same camp. No, uh, I didn't say that. Look what I said. Go back and read what I said and tell me if you think I called anyone who voted on the side of the position taken by Bull Connor that they were Bull Connor. And that is an interesting reading of English. You, you, I assume you got into, into journalism because you like to write. So did you expect that that would work with Senators Manchin or, or Cinema? Um, no, here's argument? the thing. There's certain things that are so consequential. You have to speak from your heart as well as your head. I was speaking out forcefully on what I think to be at stake. That's what it is. And by the way, no one... I don't think it's controversial to say that Joe Biden really isn't in charge of the White House. He doesn't have the physical stamina 
he does a few events, a few very public interactions with reporters. For some reason, and I don't quite understand it, they've built this fake replica of the Oval Office that he does weird press events from. I, I just don't understand. Maybe it's nothing, but it seems odd. I know that Ronald Reagan was alleged to have Alzheimer's disease set in in the end of his second term. Reagan was 78 years old when he finished his second term. Joe Biden is 79 years old in his first term, and he's much foggier than Reagan ever was. That's an excerpt from my daily show, The Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a monologue on the news of the day, then I interview an interesting guest, and then I read my hate mail. You gotta subscribe. Go to rebelnews.com.